After every wave of protest comes every business person's nightmare. The looting of shops, especially those owned by foreigners. A case in point is when youths in Mayerton protested against a police operation against drugs and illegal taverns. Residents spent the day blocking roads with stones and burning tires. But come nightfall, they descended on shops. Night one o'clock, it's too much people is coming. Uh, it's coming to my shop. They just what happened, I go outside. This is too much people is coming and, 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 and come my shop. I'm good, uh, just uh, on, our, on our house inside, just my saved my life. So that time is many people is break the my shop, is take it all is stock. And uh, after I, I call it the police, his police is come later, police is tell me yeah, another road is the road accident, is busy that side. Huh? It's, my shop is uh, uh, is take it all his stock. After ten minutes his police is coming. Mohammed is a man counting his losses after not just one but two were looted in the aftermath of the protest. Maybe 40 plus minus 40,000. Plus minus is 40,000. Just you see everything. Everything is don't have all we stock is everything is lost. I'm very poor man. I'm very, very poor man. Over the years, South Africa has seen sporadic xenophobic attacks in which many foreigners were killed. The attacks usually target foreign nationals. Muhammad now fears for his life, even though his heart lies serving people where his businesses are based. The night time the, is, the, is the not the good man. Is the, is the everybody, I, I think, is the criminal. Is, is somebody's got a gun, somebody's got a knife, somebody got a stick. Same like this, I, I see the people night time. Some Mayatin residents agree with Muhammad. They think criminals have hijacked their otherwise peaceful protest to highlight poor service delivery. This is just criminality. There was no reason to loot these shops. The people were just supposed to do their protests and leave the shops alone. The most painful thing is that they are damaging our properties. The foreigners are renting the building, not owning it. For as long as residents demonstrate, it remains a tough call to balance the call for action with the discipline to ensure protests don't spiral out of control. It has now become a common tendency that when there's a protest against anything in South Africa, shops owned by foreigners become main targets. Is this looting of shops an act of xenophobia or just criminality? Lindogu Klemnisi, ANN7, Mayatin in Johannesburg.